Yeah. Nah, ha, baby. I'm the peak of performance. I'm storming people's importance. And it ain't easy to force it. Without a league of endorsement, I'm causing evil in courses. Of course, the streets will feel the torment the moment we see it. What up, fam? This is Mr. Hatchet with True Dog Low Family. Uh, joined with Hat by Hack Naha. Um, another Austin resident. Tell everybody about yourself. Yeah, I've been in fucking Austin for a while, man. Lived all around town, and uh, just Austin's been like my base for. I mean, I've always lived there, grew up in Austin area, Georgetown, and so. Uh, so whole life. Uh, yeah, a whole life. Always been around here. You know, traveled around, seen everything around, been everywhere. But I mean, Austin's where I grew up, and it's home. Yeah, it's always will be. What uh, as far as your music goes, um, we, you know, I've heard you put out a, a few songs here lately. I've only known you about a half a year, year, whatever. Um, your music. Uh, it's a you know doesn't necessarily um, you don't pick up on the whole juggalo orientation within it uh, you know but uh, as far as your style goes some of the songs that I've heard uh, tell us a little bit about it whatever like uh, I mean some of the stuff I have like that I put out recently is some of the shit that I have like either back in the day like in 2009 really is when I started recording I mean I've been had a lot of stuff in my head and always been doing things but uh, just really just started like hitting it and recording in 2009. And then I uh, kind of got, got locked up and did a little, did a little almost a two-year stint, and then just got back out here in 2011 and just picked up back where I left off. How'd you stand your ground when you were locked up? Were you practicing? Or because I mean, when you came out, you were swinging. I mean, right out of the bat, you did. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fucking time to sit there and fucking think. You know, I mean, almost two years just writing fucking every day, sit there planning, plotting, scheming on what the fuck I'm gonna do when I got out. You know what I mean? So as soon as I did get out, fucking, hit the road running with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you definitely did, man. Um, I saw. Uh, I think the first collab I saw live was with you and A Ray on music. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty slick. Um, whenever I heard you spit your verse on that, you know, everybody can make something sound good in the studio or this, you know, whatever. But when you did it live, I, that's whenever I heard your talent for the first time. I was like, damn, dude, he is good. Because A Ray was like, yo, man, check out my homie, uh, heck. You know, he's going to be on stage with me tonight, yada, yada. And, um, but then when I heard you, I was like, damn, dude, he's pretty good, you know. And then, uh, I think that was one of those arts and productions, uh, Ronnie Blaze or whatnot. Uh, the, the hosts, the performers, everybody was uh, pretty impressed with me, man. So. Yeah, I think that was that Prozac show you were talking about. Yeah, yeah there you go, Prozac show. Music, yeah, that was uh, that's uh, the first track on A-Ray CD, Greatest Misses, and uh, he waited just a little bit for me to get out so he can put me on that track and right before we released it, and that was the last thing that was finished up on that album before it went out. And so, uh, yeah, a lot of props to A-Ray for getting me on there. And fucking, I, enjoy, I always enjoy performing that one because that's something that I always like. Really but a music a few other a few other of your songs besides uh, music, what would you you know recommend somebody listen to? Different really is the one that I fucking really am like really loving the most right now. That's like the favorite track I put out so far. You know what I mean? And I got A Ray on that. And that's like A Ray and I are about to do a music video. We're fucking putting a lot into that, and it's fucking that's just the track that I can't even get my own goddamn CD player. It's just you like it a lot. Yeah, though. it's stuck in there. Yeah. What uh? As far as your uh, juggalo background, always TJF. If you want to hear the juggalo background, tell your juggalo background, everybody. I mean, I've been a juggalo for a while, man. I mean, since uh, I don't really can't put a day. I remember mean, I was like back in high school days and stuff, and really it's just kind of the place where I fit in. You know what I mean? Nobody knows how long is that. Let's see, uh, eight years. Okay. Eight years, you know. Yeah, good while. Yeah. And um, I mean, I listened to it longer than that. You know I mean like I listened to it back in you know I mean before two thousand. I mean, before, like, even the Wraith and stuff came out, but I really wouldn't have called myself a juggalo until I was about, like, 16 years old or something. More than, you know so, I mean? yeah, so you've been around family of quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I respect artists, um, you know, if they want to do the juggalo thing and whoop-whoop in their music, that's fine, you know, but, uh, you know, if you're a juggalo and you don't, I respect that as well, you know, and that's, um, people will, sometimes will see our interviews and wonder, you know, well, hey, that's not a juggalo artist or that, and I said, it's about the underground music, but a lot of the times, um, the majority of people that we mess with, uh, that we interview especially, will have a, a juggle of history about. Yeah, well I'm a juggle of the fullest, but you I mean I'm also many other things, you know, so it's not going to be overwhelmed with one thing or the other. Yeah, you ain't sound with psychopathic yeah, exactly. while running around, even exactly. if you're not. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. No, that's cool, that's definitely commendable. Um, as far as what you got going on in 2012, tell a little bit. Oh man, there's no telling really, like 2012 just seems to be a big year. You know, I barely just really got back started again in 2011. and. Uh, just, that seems just like a warm up for 2012. It's about to kick off. We got a lot of shit in the works. Or, uh, I mean, got a Boondock shows are coming up, and a lot of shows coming up already. Like, it's already getting warmed up with just a DMX and a lot of big names already, and just running around kind of. If you could, back if you could, uh, speaking of that, if you could perform with any uh, underground, it doesn't matter whether it's you know KMK or ICP or groups or labels or whatnot. If you could perform with anybody in 2012, the fantasy performance tour show whatever, what would you do? 
Tech Nine, Big Chris Calico, probably. Hell yeah. That's the um, shit. And why, why so? Well, because, I mean, if you look, if you're talking about performing, because that's who always does the best shows, and I mean, you can never go to a Tech Nine show and be unsatisfied no matter what happened with it, you know what I mean? Right. That's always going to be the most on point shows ever. And that's one something that always really got me into shows is because, like, I think right when I first did my first show, uh, it was, uh, it was like, I don't know, it's just something you feel like it's just. In Tech Nine, they always just organize and everything is just always on. You think you would fit there, yeah? Well, that's just yeah, that's just like the top of like like this. If ever, any show, if you want to go to see a show, Tech Nine's always going to never disappoint you. I mean. Word. Um, as far as where people can find your music or find out more about you, you know, um, you got a website or Reverbs or you know, we'll splash it up if so. Um. Yeah, yeah, I've got a Reverb Nation. It's just ReverbNation.com slash Hacknaha and my website Hacknaha.com. N A J A. N A J A H A C K N A J A dot com and uh, Facebook, Twitter, everything. You know what I mean? You can find me on A Ray's Facebook and Twitter and stuff too. You know what I mean? Because oh, yeah. I'm always trying to link and connect. We'll, we'll make sure and put the links up, like I say, so everybody can find you. And uh, you know, just wanted to take a quick opportunity to get to introduce you. You know, we'll do a follow up so people can see. You know, so um, you know, if you give out any shouts, you you know, anybody, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just everybody's really showed me a lot of love, like Ronnie and Blaze and uh, Ronnie DJ Ronnie Blaze at R2 Entertainment. I mean, huge dribble of family and just everybody online. I got like my homeboys, my friends, my homeboy Rick locked up right now, looking, waiting for us to get out. You know, and so I got that in there. Hell yeah. Uh, just everybody showed a lot of love in the underground music industry, really, you know what I mean? It's just uh. And then even though we, you know, I did an interview with Aria as well, um, and we did mention it on there, like, uh, you know, that's different. You're on the, the track, and then I think Fago Lovers again, in case you didn't watch the Aria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fago Lovers. They put that up on their fresh songs, so yeah. check that out, FagoLovers.net, man. That's uh, their old school cats and the. Underground, uh, as far as the internet goes, you know, and so whenever they put something up like that, it helps. You know? Yeah, yeah, so, we did see that, and they threw it up there, and then like we got a lot of stuff like slow paint out in Denver, and there's just a lot of a lot of people showing that love. Well, that's what's up, man. Well, fucking, I appreciate your time, man. Wish you nothing but the best in 2012. Always, man. What's up, man? Woo 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 woo. Jug it. Fun for you. Hey Ray. Hey Ray. Hey, nah -ha. Hey, nah -ha. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, -ha, baby. I'm the peak of performance. I'm storming people's importance. And it ain't easy to force it without a league of endorsement. I'm causing evil in courses. Of course, the streets will feel the torment the moment we steal it corporate. Hey, Ray. Now, let me start with the introductions. Yeah. I'm the dude that keeps them jumping. And I'm always up to something. Six, five, getting them live every time I rip a show. I'm constantly on the ground. We got a mark on our shit to grow. Blow up. Whole cup. Throw it back and we're gone. Leaving a room full of bobbing heads because they're banging our song. Show up, show up, get it in and I'm gone. Because I'm turning songs to ashes like the trees in my bone. I'm a convict, I'm used to breaking the law. And if you pop up at the mouth, I'll get to breaking your jaw. So let's be honest, I know it's rubbing you raw. You see me rising in this game while you just bumping your jaw. There ain't no man we trust, so blow away with the dust. You hoes ain't going nowhere, y'all are nothing to us. There ain't no man we trust, so blow away with the dust. You never meant nothing to us. Focus, determination, hustle, and grind. And I'm always on the streets, I gotta, gotta get mine. And I spend a lot of my time sitting and plotting my shine. About how when I get out, I'ma shout and slaughter these rhymes. So go push, stop, and rewind. You're hoping, stop even trying. I'm handing forward fast, your ass is in the back of my mind. It's perpetual forward motion, never stopping, never, never slowing. slowing. I utilize my opportunities and keep going. And I keep growing, there's no stopping me now. I'm like Shaq in 93, there ain't no knocking me down. When I pop up, hop in the crowd, what about that hot talking now? Sounds loud on the internet, but better to show I'm knocking, knocking you out. out. Yo, bitch my balls in a map, but at least she's crawling the rap. But at least when you see me, you streaming, you'll see her all in the cap. But don't trip though, you know your chicks are nympho. I'm about to get dome and you can take that bitch home. I switch zones, bust rhyme like flip mode. I flip zone, creeping for chronic, my crew will kick dope. <laughs> Love me or hate me, call me an asshole. A Ray and Hack, nah, huh, baby, the Super Smash Bros. <laughs> you hoes ain't going nowhere, y'all are nothing to us. You never meant nothing. Nothing. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hey Ray. Dub CR Studios. Austin, Texas. Turn it up.